You think I'm mad, don't you? Doesn't matter what I think. Or maybe she just wants to talk. Maybe I'm the missing Zarevich. Well, the trouble is, I can't resist it. Not when it's offered on a plate. Yeah, you're not alone there. Now, if you can stay with her until three, you'll get back to your room without being noticed. I'll watch until you're in there. If you hear me speak, just keep walking past her door. Thanks, Mr. Powell. Thomas, I mean it. You're a real pal. Well, I tried to be. Sibby and George. Thank God. Mary, you take them. Tony, go come with on, her. Darling. Tom, come with me. You know where the sand buckets are kept. Good God. Barrow, is she all right? I think so, Malone. We must get her outside. Quickly, Tom. Tom, get the hose. Rose, go up and wake Mrs. Hughes and the maid. She'll do the rest. We must alert the estate fireman. Who knows where to find Drew's number? I do. And save the dog. Barrow, hurry up. Get her away from the smoke. I'll check the bedrooms. Let me check the rooms, my lord. Now, man! Fire! There's a fire. Well, I'll see you both downstairs. I don't wish to be harsh, but I have a feeling James would be better employed elsewhere. Uh -oh. Please don't ask me why I think so, but I suspect his ambitions rather outstrip what a career as a footman will yield. As your lordship wishes. And give him a good reference. We don't want it talked about. Understood, my lord. Well, this is it, then. There's something I want to say. I'm sorry I put you through all that trouble. Forget it. It's in the past. Well, you've been a good friend to me, Thomas. If anyone had told me that I'd have been friends with a, a man like you, I'd have not believed them. But we have been friends. Yeah. And I'm sad to see the back of you. I am. You can always write. I'm not much of letter writing. I'll do my best. <laughs> or in case we don't meet again, I hope you find some happiness. I do, truly. I hope the same for you too, Jim. I'll be dandy. I'd best be off. <laughs>